Hey guys, so this is Dave from Common RDW here, and it is September 1st, 2016. It's like 10.30 a.m., but I did not wake up for this Nintendo 3DS Direct that happened around like 9 a.m., 7 a.m. Pacific time. I don't know why Nintendo does their Direct so early. Anyway, I'm about to do a blind watch of this Nintendo Direct for Nintendo 3DS. I haven't seen anything. I've been avoiding my social media since I woke up this morning. Um, it's not going to be like a watch the whole thing, reaction thing, but all the highlights I'm gonna splice together and then I'm going to uh, make those into one big collage for collab for you guys. So let's uh, let's begin. I haven't seen anything for this. Actually, I'm not really excited because I don't know what Nintendo could possibly do to surprise us right now, but uh, anything, something, something. So let's see where this goes. I wonder if it's going to start within the next 20 seconds. Oh no, I'm just gonna ride this out. So if it's a whole 40 minutes, that's actually surprising. I thought it was going to be shorter than that because Nintendo had actually done that when they did like the Pokemon Direct. It was just a trailer. So it has to be some news. It's probably going to be Pokemon Dragon's Quest, that new Mario Party game. John, how are we doing? Everything smooth? Yeah, everything's great. We're ready for the Nintendo Direct, except we don't have Bill. What do you mean we don't have Bill? Didn't he where's fire the... Bill? And where's my new Nintendo 3DS? Wait, the 3DS with all old... Yes, that Nintendo 3DS, the one with all the 2017 games. 2017 games? You better fix this. You turn up this volume. You guys, you're going to help me with the 2016 announcements. John. I like how there's no one in the Wii chair. I'm on it. And, and you need to find my new Nintendo 3DS, too. I'm double on it. Dang, and, Reggie. But what about the 2017 announcements? Find Bill and find my new Nintendo 3DS. Is he 3DS. talking about the Galaxy one? All right, Nintendo 3DS Direct. It's been a while since the games Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Iwata, where are you? So let's take another look. The story begins when your character moves to the tropical islands of the Alola region and begins his or her journey. Ooh, this music, though. Pokemon trainer. The first partner Pokemon this time include the Grass Quill Pokemon Rowlet, the Fire Cat Pokemon Litten, and the Sea Lion Pokemon Pop. You guys hear this music? You can choose one of these. That music sounds really good. In addition, the two Pokemon from the box art, Solgaleo and Lunala, hold a vital key to your adventure in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. <laughs> Are the new Alola forms. Also encounter regional variant Pokemon with unique looks adapted to the region's native environment. This here is an Alolan Rattata. Alolan Rattata. It's a really distinct look. Its type is dark normal. Dark normal? So quite different from the Rattata Yo. we know. Apparently, Rattata once swarmed the Alola region, so its people introduced Young Goose to the area to take care of the problem. But then, oh, in young response, goose. Rattata altered their habitat and became nocturnal to avoid Young Goose, who were active during the day. That's how Rattata adopted their regional Oh, that's models. cool. Speaking of changes, there's a I like how they explain that. Z moves that'll factor into your Pokemon battles. A Z move is an extremely powerful skill. Initiated Oh, that's a new one. We didn't see any ghost ones last time. Powers together. What type of Z move a Pokemon can use depends on which Z crystal the player gives that Pokemon. Some Z moves are exclusive to a specific type of Stoked Pokemon Spark Pokemon Surfer. Used after a specific Z crystal that's cool. Design. There's an early purchase bonus as well. It's Munchlax, who can evolve into Snorlax to go all out. Pulverizing Pancake. From the time the game launches until January 11th, 2017, you can receive Munchlax in Pokemon Sun. You can get a Munchlax, huh? This Munchlax will come with a special item, Snorlium Z. Evolve your Munchlax into Snorlax, then assign the Snorlium Z crystal Bruh. to get the R. special R. Z Pulverizing Pancake. Please check the official Pokemon website for more details after this Nintendo That's pretty game. cool. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will launch side by side right, on team. November 18th. The Pokemon, the Pokemon Z stuff is Moving still along, interesting to me. This. Okay, another Mario Brothers game. They're making another new Super Mario. Oh shit! It may look like good old oh, Super Mario snap. Maker, which launched last year on Wii U, but this is Super oh, Mario Maker no. for Nintendo 3DS. Oh this no. This new game is all about playing courses anytime. Oh anywhere. no. And it gives you a hundred built in courses designed They're making by a Mario Maker for 3DS. These levels have Yo. challenges from collecting every coin to defeating every enemy. That's pretty cool, control. actually. I, how I was thinking about getting this game back again, but now it would be better to have on 3DS. Using the Wii U version. 
In the spirit of spontaneity, you won't be able to search by course ID, but you will be able to enjoy the 100 Mario Challenge and recommended courses as oh, well. Oh, so you can search by course IDs? Well, not every course created in the Wii U version will be compatible with this release. Oh. We're confident there'll be no shortage of great Okay, that's pretty cool. You'll also be able to get courses directly from your local friends. We'll Yo, hold up. Like its predecessor on Wii U, this game lets players freely create their own Super Mario courses. And includes every tool and course part available in that version, save for the mystery mushroom and its associated Mario costumes, which are exclusive to the Oh, it's cool. But don't worry if you find course. And then no, um, the amiibos can still work with that. Mario and Yamamura are back with interactive tutorials that'll have you creating with confidence in no time. That's Super cool. I like that. Wii U was all about fostering a big global community. This time we're focused on bringing players together with their local friends. Oh, so instead of sharing friends. things over online, so you can share them locally. Online, courses you make will be shareable via local wireless. That makes oh street passing levels. We've also added in the ability to share incomplete courses. Via incomplete. Wireless. That way you can team up to create courses, which will be marked with a special icon to commemorate. That's pretty cool. I like that. Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS will be released on December, December 2nd. 2nd. Okay, pause. So, with this idea, this is cool and also smart for Nintendo because for one, they're making they're working on NX. Everyone knows NX is being worked on right now. So, I'm guessing they did this because they were like nobody's really buying Wii U's anymore or people are going to get rid of their Wii U soon. All these Mario Maker levels are going to go to waste. Why would we like get rid of this server base and this fan base? For Super Mario Maker, which is very vast, surprisingly, and we're making a new system that, and this might, what this tells me is that the NX probably won't be backwards compatible, because why would they make Super? I mean, I understand why they would make Super Mario Maker for 3DS, because the idea to make levels on the go is really cool. Like this gives me an opportunity to get Super Mario Maker again, because I didn't honestly want it on Wii U again because it was boring me, or because I didn't want to sit down in one spot and make a level for a long time. But being able to take the levels with me is better. But the main reason I think they did this is because the NX won't be backwards compatible. So they were like, instead of getting like just tossing this whole server out the window, let's give people a reason to still play Super Mario Maker and keep making levels. So now they moved it to 3DS. That's the main reason I think they made it for 3DS is because they're, the NX won't be backwards compatible. That's that's my thought on it. That's really cool. Next up, oh, what the heck is this? This game has a new mode called Toad Scramble which puts a big spotlight on little old Toad while introducing a new mm. way to play Mario Party. It can, can we just get classic Mario Party, please? And involves everyone moving what simultaneously, the hell? from rolling the dice to navigating what toward the bosses. Heck? By eliminating turns, the game is much faster and a bit more strategic, too. The this isn't even Mario Party anymore. This is like a totally different thing. Action-packed minigame, and the other players can join in the fun when they catch up. But getting there first isn't an instant win. There are other factors at play. Now they bring so a boss battles back, and why does they? Why do they just have there toads? Choices in Mario Party than merely picking your favorite character. You'll find Mushroom Kingdom what allies on each map, just waiting for a team up. These ally characters expand your movement options, and as they play alongside you in mini games, any points they earn are added to your total. Are there just there boss are battles? Too. One of them is on what the? where players race around a track by collecting coins while playing in mini games. It's pure skill, no hmm. dice. And in the mode Mario Shuffle, you'll maneuver three pieces. Oh, that's the amiibo the stuff again. Board. There are lots of ways to that's play. That's the Waluigi Mario. amiibo. Seven modes, in fact. So how you play is up to you and your friends. Oh, that's a classic Don't game. Don't forget the game is also compatible with the Super Mario series and yeah. amiibo figures, including. They're probably gonna re-release some. Join the party this yep. fall. They work differently in each mode. So I want that Diddy Kong one. See for yourself. Of course, this is Mario Party, so it's packed with mini games. There are a few packed with like a whole games, 60. Including up to four player download play, as well as local multiplayer. A first for the series. No, it is not. Local multi. No, it is not. Mario Party Star Rush Party Guest Edition from Nintendo. Mario Party 3DS. Mario Party 3DS and Mario Party DS had local multiplayer. What do you say? Out limitations. Mario Party Star Rush, a new amiibo from the Super Mario series, will release simultaneously on November 4th. Okay, so first off, positive all these games are coming out this year so far. They haven't mentioned any 2017 games. But this Mario Party game, this isn't even Mario Party. This is more like, I guess they decided to change the Mario Party formula completely to where Mario Party is just a board game or like just a game. It's not even Mario Party. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know how to feel about the toads. It'd be cool if you could customize the toads and make them look a certain way, like give a toad some clothing 
So if you play local with some friends, all your toes look different. Like they have hats like they do in Miiverse and stuff like that. Or like Street Pass. The whole picking up characters on the board thing is still confusing. I don't understand that. I hope that's not the only mode. It probably will be. But um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this game. I need to see more on it. Even what I saw from E3 still had me confused. I don't understand this at all. Um, the Amiibo thing is pretty cool. Like they're making, they're keeping um, note that the Amiibos are still compatible with the new 3DS and the 3DS XL, and they also have that adapter. So they're trying to make sure that most of their games that they have out coming out for the holidays don't forget about Amiibo, because people can still use them even though they're not using a Wii U. So I feel like Nintendo is also not even banking on Wii U at all this holiday season. They're putting all their cards on 3DS and maybe, like, one Wii U game. I think that was Paper Mario Color Splash, but I think that's coming out, like, I think in November or October. It's coming out soon, but they're putting all their eggs in the, in the 3DS basket because they know that 3DS sells more. That's my thought. Believe it or not, but next up is Animal Crossing. More Animal Crossing? This fall, we're releasing a free update for 2013's coziest Nintendo game. It will expand your town's horizons by adding an amiibo function. Oh snap, and hold up. Features. Of course, the Animal Crossing series amiibo figures and amiibo cards will be compatible, but so will select figures from other Ooh. series as well. In addition to this update, a new wave of Animal Crossing oh, amiibo new cards, cards. will release That's on cool. December 2nd. There are 50 new cards, and each one features a villager. A move-in van. In That's Crossing pretty cool. Movie, as well as the interior design of RVs. Oh, you can like bring people that were traveling into their into your town. Your current version of the game. Because the Animal RV Crossing is like what their house would look including like. Including the recently launched Nintendo Selects version, or you can purchase a package that includes this. Welcome update, Amiibo. Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. With this version, you'll also be gifted a brand new Amiibo card from the wave I mentioned earlier. Bruh, they're still trying to sell new copies. Soon, we'll be going to town on all of the features included in this update, especially the Amiibo compatibility. So stay tuned for an Animal Crossing New Direct. <sighs> okay, later this fall. pause. So, they're trying to, they're still selling Animal Crossing, which is great. Animal Crossing is a good game. It's not for me, but I know the following is huge. But the fact that they're still, they, they mention that Animal Crossing New Leaf is $20 on Nintendo Selects. But they were also like, but you can get this version, which comes with an exclusive Amiibo card, which we're not going to show you what it looks like, but we're going to also have this exclusive Amiibo card that you can get if you get the special version that's probably going to be an extra $15 more. So they're still trying to like get people to buy brand new copies, like their special version of it, which is... Which is a slick move. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even into this game series that much. I'm not a fandom. I'm not an Animal Crossing fandom like that. But um, I do like how you can get the Amiibo cards and you can bring new animals into your town with like the RVs. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing with the Amiibo functionality, they're gonna have like the Animal Crossing Amiibos. Um, either unlock certain costumes for characters in the game or unlock certain like clothing or furniture that you can get in the game also but other than that i don't know okay what's this what's going on here oh bill took his ds hey, is this that's the new one <laughs> the donuts again oh the are they gonna talk about yokai watch oh bill got trapped in a trunk oh no easter island oh boy Street Pass Me Plaza is marching into new territory. A new update should make your gameplay experience quicker and I haven't played Me Plaza in a while. In addition to the current Street Pass Me Plaza, we're adding a Quick Plaza, which streamlines the way you play Bruh. the games. When you visit the Quick Plaza, the gameplay will move along quicker. Greeting messages from Me characters have been simplified, and you can select the game more quickly from the bottom screen and boot Oh, that's legit. Right cool. There will also be a handy adjustment to the plaza gate in Street Pass Me Plaza Premium. Me Plaza Premium. Previously, you could only encounter what up to 10 hell? players via the Street Pass feature. But now, by sending Me characters you've met via Street Pass to the plaza gate, you can encounter up to 100 what the heck? players. Alongside the update, we're also adding five new fast-paced Street okay. Pass games. You'll race slot cars and compete for the best time against players you encounter <laughs> Street Pass in Intense drifting, that's pretty cool. You'll predict stock prices as advised by the stock prices. In market crashes. Ugh. 
you'll cook requested dishes for heroes aiming to rescue the king. Oh, I'm seeing. Okay, I like that. You'll explore wild frontiers using the step count of players you've met via street pass. In oh, yo, that's okay. I like that. And you'll also blast yourself from a cannon to defeat demons in huh, Ninja Huh, that's funny. Launcher. Even for street pass, these games are bite-sized and deliciously so. Deliciously Perhaps so. Best of all, you can download either slot oh, levels or for free. Crashers for free. Not gonna make you pay for the rest if of them. If you take advantage of the free download, you can purchase the four other new games in a special. For how much? Bundle. Like five bucks. The new games and updates for Street Pass Me Plaza and Street Pass Me Plaza Premium launch shortly. Okay. After the direct, along with the free game. Download. But how much? Five bucks? Oh, hey, Reggie, tell me something good. Hi, everyone. Reggie here. 30 years ago, The Legend of Zelda launched in Japan. Okay. Introducing the world to the hero Link, the Princess Zelda, and the... Okay, what are you getting at? The game also introduced... Are you going to go through the whole items, timeline and talk about Breath of the Wild? And the intricate I hope so. That left you feeling so something cool you talking about Breath of the Wild? Players of all ages will be able to revisit that original game in all its glory this oh. year. Even if they don't own a current... You're talking about the NES thing, yeah. The Nintendo Entertainment System NES mm -hmm. Classic Edition releases on the I forgot about that. And to commemorate the... Oh, that's a cool logo. This holiday will also be releasing a special series of classic Zelda Amiibo figures. Oh, no. The Wind Waker ones are new. The Ocarina of Time one is new. Yo. Link and Zelda. That is brand new. No one knew about those. These amiibo will work as that is nice. Amiibo respectively. And they will also have And they work in Breath of the Wild? Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. I haven't bought an amiibo in a minute. Partners at Dark Horse Comics plan to release 3 Zelda books as part of the third. Ooh, is all the comics too? The oh, is all the books? Will be the Legend of Zelda art and artifacts. Featuring more than 2,000 illustrations. Oh, they're milking the Legend of Zelda art again. In fact, you can pre order the book now on Amazon. It said three books, right? And if you're really in the mood to immerse yourself in all things Zelda, check for performances of the Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, which continues to tour. Oh, the concert. I've been to that like twice. It's a good concert. Finally. We're happy to announce that the original version of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword will be releasing today in the Nintendo oh, Shop. That's pretty cool. Nice. The story is set at the earliest point. Skyward Sword is a good game. So between this I'm guessing it'd be like and the release I think the virtual console Wii titles are like 15 bucks. 15 dollars, yeah. Before the release of the Legend of Zelda. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Those amiibos look Banging. I'm Legend getting that. Zelda, the Wind Waker HD for Wii U is another and it's a Nintendo Select now, yeah. Titles. And now part of the new the Nintendo Select Nintendo games are actually very good. Luigi's Mansion, Animal Crossing, Zelda. And Nintendo 3D. That's a really good lineup for 20 bucks. Last month also saw the release of new hardware. The new Nintendo 3DS XL system now comes in a slick new... They, he said last month because it was yesterday. And we also released he did not. Mario 3D oh... Edition. New Nintendo 3DS system. Yo, that's nice. Exclusively Includes extra cover. Ooh, it comes with the Super Mario Maker, Maker plates too. It comes with Yo, that's nice. Cover plates. The bundle also includes the pre-installed imaginative game Super Mario 3D. Land. Super Mario 3D Land is old. I'm surprised Mario they didn't make a second Mario Super Mario 3D Land, 3D Land yet. Now's a great time to jump in. Okay, the so they made another 3DS. Next, we'll take a look at even more content. I appreciate that. Okay, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Great cut. Great. Are we all good? You're great. Very nice. That's awesome. That's not what I mean. Do we have Bill? And do we have my Nintendo? Dang, thing? Reggie. Yes. So uh, grouchy. Not yet. It's all right. We'll pull it all together. Good job, team. Where are my donuts? <laughs> Reggie's so grouchy in this direct. Jesus. The fight continues in the game Hyrule Warriors. I haven't played my Hyrule Warriors. Do I still have my Hyrule Warriors? I just, I do. And here's your first new DLC. Oh, Spirit Tracks? Spirit Tracks, Link? Sand Wand. Are we gonna get Spirit Zelda too? That'd be pretty cool. And a train. <laughs> Rides a train. Conductor Link from Spirit Tracks. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, 
Oh, it's cute. Hey, Spirit Zelda. Oh, and she's in the armor. Toon Zelda. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cute. I like that. I appreciate that. They use like the same voice actor for all of the all of the female characters in this game. I swear to God. All the little girl characters. I like that they keep adding DLC to this game. Hyrule Warriors Legends DLC Pack Three. Pack Phantom Three. Hourglass and Spirit Tracks Pack will be available from the in-game. Today, yo. Today. Plus, a season pass for all four packs is already on sale. It'd be awesome if I played that game. Well, team, without that 3DS and without Bill. I don't know how we're gonna announce those 2017. What games, games are coming out in 2017? Jeez, well, this better be something good, Bill. Bill, come on! Oh my God, Bill, Bill! What on earth? It is him. Bill. I have too much fun shooting these skits. Where have you been? The island. It spoke to me. Revealed secrets of the universe. The 3DS lineup. There's so much hope. Bill, this, this beard. I didn't have this a few hours ago. Hours? It's been years, man! Jesus, Bill. Are you sure you can present? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. What's for lunch? Bruh. Warning. The next 18 seconds will be utterly adorable. Oh, they're making freaking uh, Yarn Yoshi for 3DS? Aw, it's cute. You're looking at the Nintendo 3DS version of Yoshi's Aww. New World, an adventurous Yoshi game set in a world of yarn. It contains some new features, not to mention every single stage in the Wii U. Okay, it's pretty cool. There are also exclusive new stages focused on Poochie. Little speedrun levels. Time Poochie's jump to collect beads as you head for the goal. I'm also excited to introduce you to the miracle of Poochie Pups. Poochie pups are curious little helpers who jump on suspicious spots. So they basically help you find secrets if you're a freaking noob. If you call them and I don't know why they gotta keep making games so accessible, and so easy even. Earlier, we're developing animated shorts but that's cute. Collaboration with the stop motion animation studio Dwarf. The Nintendo 3DS version packs in 30 Aww. of these shorts, showing the daily lives of Yoshi that's so and cute. Poochie. We'll also oh, Poochie Star Amiibo? Figure, Yo! Just as he appeared in that's adorable. Episodes. Stay tuned for more info about the game's... Okay, that's pretty cute. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World will be released February Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. As will the Poochie Amiibo on the very okay. same day. We'll offer a special bundle that includes the game... <sighs> Do I really want to get Woolly World again? Next is a new title. Mario Star okay, hold up now. Hold up now. Yo... Soccer. So that's gonna be our Mario Strikers and baseball. Nigga. What the heck? Every Mario sports game in one game? Hold up. On 3DS too? And when we say soccer, we're talking the full on eleven versus eleven. Oh, it's not even strikers rule, it's legit game. There's not only a single player tournament mode multiplayer for all five sports, there's also local, local and online. Okay. Events, so you can compete against your friends and family locally or against the best players from around the world. But are there like special Nintendo Mario specific Superstars levels though? Released in spring 2017. Mario Sports Superstars. Let's dig into our final game of the day. Pikmin! Pikmin! Pikmin 3DS! Pikmin 3DS! Yo! Yo! It's side scroller? It's a side scroller? Hold up. Pikmin 3DS. Bruh. Mysterious creatures. Nick, bro. Joining the fearless space explorer Olimar for a side scrolling adventure game on the Pikmin 3DS. Pikmin follow Olimar around, and then you tap the touch screen with hmm. throw. They'll get to work right away. Moving objects. Okay. Okay. 
Seems like that works out pretty well. Or carrying treasure while heading for the goal. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. As always, red Pikmin are fire resistant. And there's swimming sections too? Oh man. And yellow Pikmin can be thrown to higher ground. And avoid Oh, I'm feeling this. It's just you, your colorful friends, and a perilous series of tasks. You could only describe. I'm feeling this. Okay. This Pikmin game is being designed with action in mind. It will make you think fast and utilize. And it's a side scroller. That's very interesting. Oh, hmm. So that means the exploration might not be there as much. Whoa. Massive boss battles. This new side-scrolling Pikmin adventure will be released. I'm guessing that's a summer game also. Good. Bill, great job. It's wonderful to have you back. Thanks, Reggie. Pikmin 2017 3DS. Oh, yeah. It's a side-scroller. What the heck, Bill? Bill, what the heck? Okay. That was that was really interesting. Huh, okay. So the biggest announcement was Pikmin 3DS. Huh, okay. Let's um let's let's recap real quick. I got a couple minutes before this video closes out. Okay. Um so games we know about. Pokemon's coming out, we got a new Rattata, and we're getting Munchlax, and there's the Z moves. There's Z moves for every type and certain Pokemon get Z moves specific for themselves. Okay, that's cool. Mario Party looks eh. Animal Crossing is getting amiibo support. Animal Crossing New Leaf is getting amiibo support. That looks pretty cool. New set of amiibo cards. Okay. Not my thing, but okay. The Street Pass section of your 3DS is getting an update today. Um, new games. Probably $5, $10 for an update. Um, what else? Dragon's Quest is coming out in September. There's another one coming out in next year, in 2017. Yoshi's Woolly World is getting a 3DS version with Poochie Amiibo. That looks really cool. There's new N Legend of Zelda 3DS. There's new Legend of Zelda Amiibos coming out in December. Like five of them. No, like four of them. I'm getting all of those. There's DLC coming out for Hyrule Warrior Legends. Looks cool. I wish I played mine more. I would totally get DLC for that game. Um, they're making a Super Mario Maker 3DS. That's pretty cool. I might pick that up, actually. I don't think they gave a release date. Did they give a release date? I don't remember. They probably did. I need to look back at the video, but when that comes out, I might pick that up, because I've been wanting to play Mario Maker for a minute now. Um, when else? 2017, we got Mario, that Mario Sports All-Stars game. That Mario, Super Mario Sports Superstars, rather. It has Mario Soccer, because they were like, fuck a Mario Strikers. We're just going to make a Mario, the Mario Soccer game, and with real soccer rules. So basically, copy and paste what we do for Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Games, but only Mario characters this time. They're not making another Mario Baseball, so they're putting Mario Baseball on the 3DS. They're not making another Mario Golf game, so they put Mario Golf on the 3DS. And they're... What else was on there? A Mario Tennis game. They're like Mario Tennis Open. Uh, Mario Tennis, whatever the heck it was called, was bad. So let's put Mario Tennis on 3DS. And then let's also put them on horses from Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Games. So they put that on there. So, okay. That looks pretty cool. It's a lot of gameplay for a 3DS game. So I might pick that up. I don't know. Also, all these Nintendo 3DS games are getting more and more high maintenance. So they're pretty much making you want to buy a new 3DS because all these games are super, like, high and probably like working like you have to have a ds that can handle all this so you if you have a regular 3ds they're trying to make you make basically make you transfer over to a new 3ds or a new 3ds xl which i actually recommend because i have one and i would i wouldn't just have a regular 3ds at this point in time i would i would rather get a newer one um and what else what else do they have and then pikmin pikmin 3ds doesn't even have a name yet it looks still like it's in its early stages if this is the game that Nintendo was talking about for the longest time, I don't know. Or maybe were they also working on a console Pikmin 2? I don't know. But it looks fine for what it is for a side-scrolling Pikmin game. I think that's better to um, to deal with than a full-on full, full -on 3D 
um, running around in an open environment Pikmin game. It's a new take on the series. I appreciate it. I wouldn't mind checking it out. I wonder if it's just going to be the three base color Pikmin like in Pikmin 1. Or are they going to add in more Pikmin like the flying Pikmin of the rock. Or the uh, purple Pikmin or the or white Pikmin from uh, Pikmin 2 and 3. I don't know. It looks cool though. Um, all in all, this direct wasn't a total loss. It was really nice. Got a couple good announcements. Pikmin. The games that stood out to me were uh, Pikmin for sure. Mario Sports Superstars. Dragon's Quest coming out in September. Yoshi's Woolly World coming out next year. The Amiibos for Legend of Zelda. And the new Pokemon Sun and Moon news. Those are the five things that... Oh, and Mario... Super Mario Maker for 3DS. Those are six things that have stood out to me in this whole entire Direct. And it was good. I like it. Now, hopefully the next Direct is a NX Direct. Like, I'm really hoping the next Direct is, an, is a Nintendo NX Direct. Because we need, we need some news on that. Because going off of the games that they announced in this Direct, they don't care about the Wii U no more. They're basically moving everyone on to get a 3DS or wait until the NX comes out at this point. So, basically, that's it. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, I'm pretty much done with this video now. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. If you uh, want more videos like this, I'm going to probably be keeping up with some of this gaming news. Because there's a lot of announcements coming out this month in September. This was the first one on September 1st. Um, PlayStation is supposed to be doing some stuff. Um, there's a lot of things going on this in the month of September, but yeah, if you want to uh, keep up with some videos, let be sure to hit that subscribe button or look us up on Common RDW at YouTube, and also like us on Facebook, Common RDW on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter, Mario Party Annie or Mario Party Animal on Twitter. The link is in the description below. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any opinions on anything you saw in this video, be sure to comment down below. Be sure to hit that like button if you saw anything you liked. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.